today we're here at Cherche University. We're going to learn about actuators. Uh, which actuators are you working on? Silent Glide or are you working on legacy actuators? We get asked that question quite often. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into how to tell the differences. As you can see, you've got a legacy actuator five foot here and you've got two Silent Glide actuators here. Externally, it's almost impossible to tell them apart, especially if they're uh, mounted up inside the hard top. So we'll get into one of the ways you can, if you can see the actuator. If your actuator has a gray plug on it, like this one does, it's going to be a legacy actuator. If your actuator has a black plug on it, more than likely it's going to be a silent glide. Okay, that's one way you can tell the difference between the two of them. Another way, if you have, and again, this is here on our test bench, so it's not the same as it in the boat, you'd have cross members attached to this. But if you were to come over, and this was up in your hard top where everything was attached, you'd have your outer crossbars attached here. You can remove the small Allen head screw that resides here that holds your outer crossbar in. And then what you can do is if you turn this tube, one complete revolution. You see how much that tube grew? That's actually an inch. So that's demonstrating silent glide. One turn of the tube is one inch of travel. If you come over to your legacy actuator and do the same thing, you look at the length of the tube here one turn is only a quarter inch of travel so that's how you can tell the the difference between silent glide and legacy externally the one last way you can tell the difference between them is if you have access to the ends of the tubes where the wires come out here at the end of the cap you can take a screwdriver and a hammer knock the cap off and if you look inside the end of the tube that's a legacy motor drive shaft and then if you do the same thing here for the sake of videoing if you see that that's a silent glide motor those are the three ways you can tell the difference between your legacy actuators and your silent glide actuators one last thing what I'd like to get into is just which actuator do I have? Do I have a five foot? Do I have a six foot? Do I have a seven foot? That's really easy to determine if you have access to the complete tube. So what you can do is, let me grab my tape measure. And if you measure your actuator from stainless steel to stainless steel here, you see that's 51 inches. That's a five foot actuator, okay? 57 inches is a six foot and 63 inches is a seven foot. So that's the way you can tell the difference in your actuators and know what you're working on. If you guys need anything, please feel free to give us a call anytime. Uh, or you can visit us at shoreshade.com forward slash service. And all this information is up on our website. Thank you.